Rise from your grave. Hey Quakers, welcome to another episode of the Quake Grave. It's been a while since you heard that, hasn't it? It's been it's been a minute since we've done the show. Uh, guys, I apologize for the long absence here. Uh, part of it has to do with the fact that I had a baby. I mean, you know, not me personally. I didn't have the baby. My wife did, but we had a baby. And uh, that's been pretty much eating up my time for the past few months. Um, so that's been crazy. I'm actually going to put out an update video pretty soon talking about that more in depth here. Uh, but because of that, you know, getting time to release videos, do Quake Rave, that kind of thing, uh, time is limited. We'll say that's the nicest way to put it. Um, I have been definitely putting out videos on the channel still, but as you remember, like I used to put out like five, sometimes six videos a week on the channel, and now it's been down to like some weeks. There's I think one video maybe. Uh, I, I I still feel like you know I'm able to get a couple up, but uh, uh, some weeks it's just like not happening. Too busy, too too many things going on, but. You get how it goes, right? Uh, the other reason, too, is that I was incredibly burned out on Quake. Uh, I've been playing Quake on the show for five years straight. Um, I took a small break. Uh, I think it was the end of last year. And, um, you know, it might even have been in the beginning of this year. At some point, I took a very small, short break. And um, I, I needed a longer one. I needed an extended break. Um, really love the game. Still love Quake. You know, how, how could you not? Um, but you know, when you've been playing it for five years straight online, at least for me, I know many of you out there have been playing since the game came out and still aren't bored of it. Uh, but for me, I, I needed a break. I needed to just like completely shut Quake out for a bit. Uh, so that way it felt fresh again, because it was getting to the point where I was playing through people's custom maps and they're all very, very much feeling the same to me. Um, where I, when this was more fresh in my mind, every map felt like it had, you know, its own voice and its own feel and everything. But yeah, towards towards, uh, uh, you know, right before I, I took my break a few months ago, I was feeling like every map was kind of the same thing. And I was like, you know what? I need to take a break and see if this is even something I still want to keep going and, and doing, you know. And of course, taking a break is always the best thing to do because you come back to it, you know, four or five months later and it feels, you know, somewhat fresh again. Um, but today, uh, you know, you may be laughing at me because I'm coming into this completely fresh. I haven't played Quake at all. It didn't do any kind of warm up at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I got two maps for you here. Uh, two completely, uh, well, well, not brand new, but recently released maps by two different authors. Uh, two brand new mappers, from what I can tell on the scene. Uh, first, we're going uh, to be playing through Barbican of Hell by Windows. And then we have Heresy, or rather, we have Dismal Signal Release by Heresy. Um, one was uh, released in October, one was released in September. Uh, looks like Barbican of Hell was released on uh, October 7th. Uh, so let's jump into that, shall we? Oh man. Let's see if we still let's see if we still have the skill we used to have here. I highly doubt it. Uh, really like the look of this map right off the bat. You sure you're brand new to mapping? Because this looks pretty good. This looks very much like id style, doesn't it? I kind of dig it though. I like it. All right, so we need the silver key to get in there. Nothing over there. Looks like we're gonna be dropping down. Grabbing some armor. Uh, let's see, we got 42 kills to make, five secrets to find. So not a gigantic map. A lot of secrets for a smaller map, though. Wow, rocket launcher. That will be had at some point, and immediately... We have a knight coming after us. Wow, I haven't killed one of these guys in quite some time. Don't want to back up too far. Fall right into that lava. This is not going to open, right? Yeah, open elsewhere. Whoa! Trap immediately. Knights, traps, whoa! This this guy <laughs> not messing around. There we go. That's what we need. Kill him. Oh my god, really not messing around. Yeah, kill each other. Okay. Oh boy. This is some tight booby trap in here, I gotta say. Not bad though. Not bad. Just uh you gotta rethink your strategy when you get into a hallway that quick, or that uh, that tight there. You gotta re rethink your strategy quick, is what I meant to say. Okay. We're not doing too bad here, though. That armor at the beginning there uh, is kind of a godsend. Alright, that's already 7 out of 42, so we're making a dent already. Grab some more shells. Definitely grab uh, the rotten health first. There, there it was. I was, like, listening for the ambush, and I heard the enemies, so... Do you think they'll be in here, or are they out front here? 
Uh, I heard a bunch of pops, but I don't see anybody. There you are. Good choice to uh, surprise the player. Had no idea that that was what was going to be there. I jumped over and then they, there they were. Good little uh, surprise intro for the Scrags there. Nice doors too. I, I really like the lifting gate with the uh, silver key. Not your typical door, I guess, right? Okay, we do have a fiend. I'm gonna jump down. And he may have just jumped in the lava. Yep, there he is. Big stupid. He jumped in the lava, stupid. Alright, let's... I was really expecting me to <laughs> fall in the lava there, too. I'd be like, yeah, the fiend's not the only one that's stupid. I was gonna actually take him out. There he is. Not that he's gonna hurt anybody in there. I guess I don't need to waste my ammo, uh, ammo do I? Alright, we got... Nail gun to grab. Always looking out for the ambush. Silver, uh, super nail gun there. No, oh, hey dude. Okay. Definitely wasn't expecting to see him so quickly. Uh, maybe we'll move on. Oh. It's very Death Knight heavy. Very Death Knight heavy so far. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, hey dude. There's some more regular knights there. Easy to take out because I can just keep kind of doing this thing here that I'm doing. There we go. You're done. All right, we'll do a quick save there. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got down here. Oh, this is just the... Okay. So this was all connected. Do we actually end up killing the fiend? We must have. I don't see him running around. Okay. Alright, I guess we have no choice but to go after the, the old shambler here. And go take an elevator. Take out the old shambler. Let's see what we can do. There he is. Oh, he still got me. Got a piece of me there. Got a piece of me again. All right. This is not really working out in my favor, is it? Oh, he keeps clipping me there. That jerk. Okay. There's no way to really get that around him. Like, if I go up here, he's gonna... Like, I see what I should have done previously. I should have ran up there, ran past him, jumped down to get this, but... As of right now, there's no way to really get up past him to do that. All right, this is what I should be doing. I should be... See, this is what I'm talking about, being rusty. I should have been ducking from side to side here to avoid the lightning, but I was not. Oh, no underlift secret. Okay. Up we go again. We still got quite a few enemies. Oh my god, another one? Really not playing around. All right, that is a... That's a beefy health pack, so we'll wait. I got I haven't gotten the gold key yet though. Alright, where is this guy? There you are. Oh you Peg him! Take him out. He's done. Alright, we're gonna jump down here. So that might be one of my critiques so far for this map is just uh how tight it feels. It feels pretty tight. And that might be what the author is going for, which is totally okay. Um it's actually uh, uh, somewhat fun to try to figure out... Oh, there are more to go. I gotta hit all these? I just did that on a whim. Three to go. Alright, I'm gonna save here because I, <laughs> I don't trust myself. Walk it over to hit that two. And the other one was up here, I think. Right? Didn't I see? Maybe I saw it in the other area. Oh, hey guys. Uh, but yeah, the tight corridors a lot of times like in maps are not super fun, especially in Quake when you... It's more about like strafing around, doing lots of damage. 
avoiding monsters. You know, when you get tight corridors, it's it's not as fun, especially dealing with like big, angry uh, shamblers. Don't see anything here. I'm looking for the last bloody face thing. We're gonna find that. We're gonna find it by gall. You're done. We're at 23 out of 42. We still got 20, uh, 20 enemies to find. We still got this gold key door to go through. Okay, that's a regular face. Oh, here's a button. The wall behind you. I'll take it. Look at that, guys. Finding secrets. Take a few months off, and now I'm finding secrets. Who would have thought? There's one more bloody face, dude. I keep thinking I'm walking past it, but maybe not. I guess not. Okay. We're going to press on here so we don't waste our mega health. Up here. Alright, in we go. Hey! Definitely not a waste of mega health with the fiend hitting us right in the head, that's for sure. Platform activated. Got some scrags on the way. We'll take him out. There's a grenade launcher. I assume we're gonna have some lava zombies, maybe? Find out shortly. We'll find out after this. Didn't mean to grab that, but that's okay. All right, so there's our platform. We're gonna ride it. Come on, ride the train. You ride it. That's what we're doing. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought I threw that one straight up, didn't I? Okay, I got this ball coming after me. Oh, boy. I heard a zombie. Oh. See, this is what I'm talking about with the tight combat. Definitely can be tough. All right, let's save there. Coming up on our... Oh, hello. Goodbye. 33 out of 42. So we're definitely coming up on our amount of... Uh, or kill count, I should say. I am not seeing the last face, though. That is what I'm mostly concerned about. I really want to find that last bloody face, dude, because we were one away. I don't know if that's going to open up the door to the rocket launcher or what. It's hiding in the lava somewhere? Is that why the pentagram is there? No idea. Uh, for a smaller level, though, I know I talk about how tight it is and everything like that. It's very well constructed. It really is. There's a little escape hatch there. Oh, hello. Normally, I don't like traps like this, but because he put a pillar in the middle to sort of hide around and duck around, I am totally okay with it. He also put uh, nails there for you to refill your nails, which is nice. So far, this is uh, turning out pretty damn good. I missed the message, though. Way to the runic pillar has opened. Uh, the messaging uh, in this map so far has been great. Uh, where it lets you know that if you want to open a certain door, you know, you have to hit a runic pillar. Um, it's good to know that there's only the one, you know, because <laughs> I know some maps are like, hey, there's uh, several, there's, there are more to go, just like, you know, us hitting the uh, bloody face, dude. Okay, you're done. Oh, that put us back out here. Okay, I see. All right, we can save there. Let's head to our pillar. Oh, you're here too, are you? You're done. Wow, a lot of shamblers for a small map. A lot of shamblers. Okay, we'll hit that. The way out has opened. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Please don't have any spawns. 
I know there's only four enemies left, but... Oh, okay, we got ourselves a... Ogre. See ya. Oh, hello. This is what I should have been doing with that first Shambler. Oh, you're done. Okay. They shared some of the, the fight there. Really like the exit look. Um, the thing is, I've only got one out of the five secrets. And I've only, I'm one bloody face away. <laughs> one, one bloody face away from getting the secret that I want to get. Interesting little platform there. Yeah, because there's the rocket launcher. It looks like it's a teleport spawn point that's going to take me to the the rocket launcher because it looked like there was one behind the rocket launcher there. And this guy I've already hit. It'd be really funny if they in Quake had these things where like you hit them a second time they're like you already hit this one. <laughs> Move on, pilgrim. Move on, cowboy. All right, we're going to Jump down here. I'm only going to spend like a minute looking for this last face because if I... If I don't see it in a second, you know, whatever. There's still one more enemy somewhere. I wonder where. Yeah, there must have been a thunderbolt somewhere as well because I was grabbing the... Uh, the ammo for it. And I really have no idea where this could be. The only thing I could think of is like, I don't know if that pentagram really was put there because the bloody face is like around down in the lava somewhere. Or if that was really just for fighting, I don't know. <gasps> there it is. Return to the beginning and look up. The one area I didn't check. You notice that? All right. Let's save. Let's head to the beginning and look up. Aha, you see that? There's a new passage. Okay, let's head up over here. Alright, I don't know that... How am I supposed to get over there? I was like, oh yeah, I'll reach it from here. Nope, that's not going to happen. This is only going to put me up here. Okay. Nope. Wrong way. This way. This is this one of those, like, leap of faith situations where I have to... <laughs> nope. Uh... Alright, I gotta do some... Okay, I think I got it. You gotta do some, like, weird jumping here. Alright, I'm gonna save again. Because... I'm lazy. There we go. Look at that. That would have been nice to have earlier. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Not that anything in this map has been super hard to deal with or anything, but there is the map. And I gotta say, Barbican of Hell. Not a bad map at all. Like I said, at times like a little tight, you know? Uh, very small constructed map that's really, really, really well put together. Um, feels like what it did, you know, back in 96, but with a few added things in there for flavor. But seriously, though, this feels like a map, maybe if it was expanded out just a little bit and didn't feel so tight, it would feel like a map that would fit right in with the original maps, you know. Um, but yeah, really well done. There's still three secrets in there to find somewhere. Hell if I know where they're at, but there's three more. There's another enemy somewhere, too. Was that the, f the fiend get trapped somewhere and I didn't end up getting to kill him? I don't know. Um, but yeah, got to say... Uh, really well done. Windows. Nice job. Looking forward to seeing what your next map is going to be. Uh, this came out on uh, October 7th, so who knows if maybe you already came out with it. <laughs> and I could have missed it. Uh, but this one was really good for a small, uh, smaller map. I uh, really, really dig it. Um, my only advice would be, you know, my only critique really would be to uh, feel free to expand space just a, a hair, you know. I think too much bigger, and it wouldn't have that same, you know, feel that you're probably going for. But just a, a tad bit bigger to fight, uh, you know, certain enemies in would be would be nicer because uh, my mind goes immediately to uh, the hallway with the ogres when they burst in and then you go upstairs and then there's more knights coming after you. It's a very tight area uh, to try to fight, in, especially with a trap right downstairs. Um, 
not that it, I couldn't deal with it, uh, but it's just something to think about, you know, something for new players to think about or to think about for new players, I should say. Uh, another tight area was the area with the uh, Death Knight and the uh, Vor, where they're, you know, had that staircase that leads up with the platform that goes around it. Um, the fight in there was pretty tight with the Vor and the Knight coming in right after that. So just little things to think about, you know, uh, but other than that, very, very, very good for a first map. All right, we're going to jump into Heresy's map. Uh, let me check the name of this one again. This was Dismal Signal Release. Let's jump in, shall we? Wow, and immediately it's got like a real cool bricky Quake 2, you know, green type of look to it. Uh, 64 kills to make, 4 secrets to find. Somewhat bigger than the other map, but not too big. Honor. The British spelling as well. Tells you something. I'm not sure what. Uh, love the look of this. Look at that brick. Look at that. Lava. Really dig it. Oh! Dogs and grunts. We got a base map, people. We got a base map. And it looks like we have pissed off half the map already. Yep, love the, the acidy or acid washed Quake 2 look. It's got a really good look to it. We got enforcers and grunts, grunts coming after us already. Okay, everyone's down there. The real question is which way to go first. So one of the things I see immediately is like how big uh, the area is. Uh, we'll go back and talk about this just a little bit. Love the, the color contrast, by the way. Love the greens with the muted lava look down here. Very, very cool and interesting look. I don't know what this has taken from or if it's a, a mix of... Uh, I think this one had a mix of wads because I remember installing it and it having a few different ones added in there. Um, but what I will say uh, is that when you have such a large area that you're first coming into, uh, I'm only playing on normal, but if you're playing on hard or nightmare or whatever, aggroing the whole map, like, look, we still have enemies coming after us from way down there. Aggroing the whole map is never, like, a super fun thing to do, you know? Um, unless that's what you're going for if you're making a slaughter map, you know? Um, but it's definitely something to look out for. Like, if you walk into a room and you're aggroing enemies from, like, a hallway down... Something to think about. Okay, we're going to need a key here, too. Yeah, gold key card. So we have one way to go. Um, but yes, the, the look of this map immediately walking into it is very, very nice. Uh, this map immediately looks like it's going to be kind of low on health, too, because I don't see health packs anywhere. Here's some armor. I'm afraid to walk in that lava because I assume it hurts. Wow, I got a Shambler right across the way already. Oh, get behind here. Get behind me, Shambler. Oh, crap. I'm surrounded. I heard them activate, so I probably should have watched my ass a little bit better. But I saw the Shambler. I was like, let's get him. Let's get him. Okay, good. You're done. All right, we need to go back to shotgun. There we go. Very nice. We're doing pretty okay here. We're at 15 kills. Wow, 15 already. We're already a quarter through the kills. Just about making a dent. Look at that. Did we get to go in there? That looks cool. I love the uh, visual storytelling of like where you might go next. Like this really cool deserty look into the out the outside there. I love that. That is very cool. Uh, okay, so I came over to this area. We have not grabbed any key. I don't see a key. So it looks like we're going to have to be falling down to the next area if I put it together correctly in my head. Whoa! Didn't mean to do that. But that's okay. We're still, still cruising here. So it looks to me as though health placement and such uh, has been meticulously placed. When you're playing a normal mode for me, I feel like meticulously placed health is more for hard mode. Um, normal, I know that normal with Quake lately has people making like super hard maps, which is fine, I guess. But normal, like there's there's a reason for difficulty levels. Uh, you know, normal is really meant for like easy should be. You know, obviously anybody can just walk through this level and. No, they're, they're good to go. 
normal is like it poses a challenge but for the most part you're still rewarded with health and uh, armor and such I'm just trying to get like a good vantage point take that guy out first before we move on um, hard I think of is like that's when stuff starts getting more meticulous meticulously placed health am uh, ammo that kind of stuff uh, I don't feel like I'm even close to finding one secret in this <laughs> unless there's something around the bend nope nothing over there in Nightmare, of course, it's hands-off for me. I don't play Nightmare at all for anything. So, you do what you want with that. Hey, wind tunnels! And we're going back down. And we're going back up. Uh, beautiful map, though. Like, not that I've had a problem with the health and the armor and everything like that. Um, but when you meticulously place health and ammo and stuff like that, it tends to feel like, um... Almost like there's a certain way to play your level. Does that make sense? Like, most Quake maps that I like are the ones where you can step in and you can kind of pick and choose what route is best for you. You know, what what makes more sense for you. Player's choice. Not that linear maps are bad or anything like that, because they're not. Um, but when you put in uh, health that way, uh, it, it definitely feels more linear to me because you're like okay there's a there's a 15 or a 25 health pack here and then there's one like three rooms away so it's almost paced as if like you were meant to go here do this do that grab this and then move on it kind of you kind of see through the cracks if that makes sense you know what I mean um, I may just be talking out my ass here which you know perfectly <laughs> <laughs> Understandable if anybody feels that way. Author included. Um, and it, this isn't even uh, critiques for this map, uh, saying it's bad or anything, just so everybody knows. I feel like I always have to throw out the, the whole, guys, when I play through your maps, please do not be angry. I am not trying to make anybody mad with my playthroughs. Uh, I'm more or less trying to um, just give a few pointers here and there for... How me, the player, because I always play these from the player's perspective, uh, feel, you know, while I'm playing a map. Uh, I still think this map is gorgeous, though. I actually really like how it has flown so far. I love how this area here, you know, where you drop down, leads back up through a wind tunnel up over here to there. It feels like this door was locked and these guys, they, you, you know, they're really running some kind of a, you know, strange... Uh, you know, facility here. It really feels that way, and I, I love that. I, I love Quake maps that actually feel like a real place. This feels like a real place. Feels like that old uh, narrative of, uh, you know, dudes who uh, captured a bunch of weird Quake monsters, and now we're here to deal with it, you know? What about shooting that? No. Trying to find any kind of secrets I can, but I'm just not hitting any dirt here at all. Not with this map. Okay, remember there's a couple of rotten ones there. Take these guys out from a distance. Boom! Took him out. I heard a fiend or something. Yep, there he is. Oh, there's two fiends. So this is another thing. I feel like we're getting, like, sort of a juxtaposition here tonight, where we're getting a, m a map that was, like, very small, very tight. And now we have a map that almost has the opposite problem of being too big at times. Like, this map, for instance, we have two fiends down here that we could easily just, like, peg from up here and take out. Um, I feel like this should have been some sort of trap for the player, uh, that you know, you take, you go down, you jump down, then you, uh, you know, you, the th the fiends pop or something like that, and the elevator to lead you back up doesn't show up until you kill the fiends. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there, but uh, being able to take them out from up top, obviously I could cheese them, and then the talent or not the talent, the uh, challenge rather is gone. <laughs> Believe me, there's no talent here, that's for sure. All right, so we got a red button here. Still looking for secrets. Rock door is opened. 
What's up, guys? Is this where this is a rock door? So like when we walk through, you'll hear "Carry on my wayward son." You know stuff like that. Maybe Blue Oyster Cult. Don't fear the Reaper. Come on, guys, stick with me. Rock music. That's what you're gonna hear. As soon as we take out the Shambler, this is actually a very good uh, Shambler placement. Uh, obviously, more skilled players are gonna remember to run back behind boxes and duck and cover from the Shambler. Other, other players who are newer, that is a lesson they will have to learn. So that's a very smart placement for the uh, Shambler there. Uh, let's see, we grab this. Do not watch beneath. Oh, okay. That was interesting. Really like the uh, qu use of quake symbols in here. It's pretty fun. Whoa! His uh, grenade went right through the... Okay. That probably shouldn't have happened. I'm assuming. I mean, as long as we can walk through it, I guess we're okay. Those guys are shooting from down there. <laughs> so the grenades go through. And the enforcer shots go through. That is pretty weird. What do we have to? 41 out of 64. The real question is how do we get down there? And do my shots go through? I am not sure about all that. Yeah, look at that. Still trying to get me. Still trying to get me. But you can't. Alright, moving on. Down and down. There's something to drop to over here. See, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, like, the basic... Quake Secrets thinking maybe I'll see something. Where are you? Is he in the lava? He's I think he's in the lava. I thought he was running around on that pipe. You know, to see that pipe? Because I was thinking we, there might be a secret on that pipe. But I think he's running around in the lava because he was able to get over to me. What a jerk. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking for like the basic secrets of like, hey, if we peer around, you know, this corner and drop down here, then maybe there's something for us to check out. What's up, dogs? What up, dogs? All right, we're done there. That brings us up to 48. We're definitely making some good progress here. What is this area? I don't think we've been across here yet either. We didn't go in the room with the dogs. Have we been here? Oh yeah, we have been here, so this is all connected too. Okay. Again, facility feels like a real place. It's all connected. This bridge was extended, and now you can go back and forth there. And I didn't even realize that this area down here, where that enforcer was shooting at us, that's all connected too. So, really, really good stuff there. Um, I know that a lot of people in the community, a lot of other mappers, they frown on when other mappers decide to use um, you know, teleporters to get players everywhere. And I could definitely understand why that is the case, because then the place doesn't feel real. You're just teleporting all over the place, right? Man, I have no idea where four of those secrets are, but hey, look at these guys. <laughs> Open room fight, what do you think? Take out the Scrags first. Now, it's your turn. Right. Death by tummy ache. And we still got a bit to go here. But we got the gold key now, so we can head this way. Hey guys. Did I miss the pizza? I meant to get here early enough to get a slice, but. Now this is great. So another thing I want to point out, not to extend the playthrough super long here, guys. But I do want to talk about this a little bit. So we talked about this earlier in regards to visual storytelling with uh, the back area over here. Did that open out there too? Or am I seeing things? No, it is open. Look at that. Everything is like opened up now. 
How did I not see this before? Something definitely happened. Did I hit this button and then this door opened? Is that what happened? Or we're getting back here to kill all these zombies too, which is good. So this was connected and opened at some point, but I don't know when that happened, but it, hey, we got a mega health out of it. Did not count as a secret though. Under the stairs? No. <laughs> I was like, maybe there'll be one under there. Anyway, uh, I was running back here for my original point. I'm glad I came back, though, to grab that, that mega health, though. Um, so, I want to point out this little area back here. You guys remember when we talked about that? Looking through the broken door and seeing the, the desert back there. Good visual storytelling to know that, like, wow, outside of this facility, it's just like, you know, <laughs> there's nothing. It's just desert. Uh, very cool that eventually... You end up walking through this area with the gold key, you open this door, and boom, look, you're in the deserty area. How cool is that? Excellent visual storytelling. And look at all these cool rocks and stuff. Oh, geez, we got fiends coming after us now. Okay, switch back to the thunder. Oh, boy. You stay away from me. He no like you. What's that put us up to? 61. There's only three kills to make. Look at this. We got all this like crazy like cosmic horror, <laughs> crazy rock stuff going on. Symmetrical rock stacking. All right, we got that. Okay, that was a button this time. Interesting to introduce that at the very end. Oh, hey guys. We gotta take this guy out. He's done. Whoa! Did you see that? The vor ball made its way around the rock. How the hell did that happen? Now the final kill is probably that enforcer uh, that was down in the lava. And I know you guys out there can't believe it. But I'm going to end up finishing this map without finding any secrets. <laughs> Guys, some streaks stay alive no matter how long we take a break. And this one will stay alive here, too. I just want to point out how cool this area looks, though. It's really, it's so uh, sad. Uh, I shouldn't say so sad. Um, but what I mean to say is it's sad that we only get to enjoy this aesthetic for just this small part of the map. I could see this being a whole map, this whole deserty area. Here say I think you should make a second map just with this like deserty area, make it like a continuation of of this uh, this uh, maybe like part two of this map or something. Uh, but there you go. That is I don't want to get the name wrong here. That was Dismal Signal Release. Excellent map. Uh, I already went over a lot of the things that I liked and uh, would probably adjust later with this map or whatever. But overall, man, great job. Two really good maps from two new mappers, man. The Quake community just keeps, you know, finding these people and they keep spewing out great stuff. Uh, but guys, that is going to do it uh, for the Quake Grave today. I want to say thank you for watching as usual. Uh, I hope to uh, kind of keep this streak going, uh, keep us doing the Quake Grave on a, a normal basis here now that I'm kind of back here. It may not be as normal as like every week or two a week or however many we were doing previously, uh, but I, I would like to get this on a semi-regular basis again here. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and of course, I'll see you all next time.